Did you know that Taylor Swift scored a 1540 on the SAT? Back before she was known for dating overrated football players and her music was still kind of decent, she was getting SAT scores that would put most Harvard students to shame. Follow this Desmos tutorial and you too can get a better score than Taylor Swift. All right, so I'm gonna show you the cheat code on how to do number 24 here. So we're given this function, y equals 2x squared minus 21x plus 64. We should realize that's gonna be a parabola and then we're also given this linear equation, 3x plus a, and a is a constant. And then we're told to find the value of x, and this is where the given system intersects at exactly one point. So for those who have taken calculus, you should think like, oh, okay, that's gonna be kind of a tangent line looking thing. And what we can do, here's the cheat code, we can just type this into Desmos, so y equals 2x squared minus 21x, plus 64, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. That's gonna be our parabola. And then we're gonna type in y equals, here's the, here's the magic, 3x plus a. You're gonna hit add slider. And this is really cool because now you can drag this constant value around to see where it's gonna happen. So remember I said it's gonna look kinda like a tangent line. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But basically, it's gonna be a line that intersects a curve at exactly one point and one point only. So what's gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this around. We can tell that it's gonna be kinda in this direction. We're gonna go, 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 right there, right there. We can see it on here. It hits the curve and it's gonna be at x equals six. So that's where our line is gonna perfectly intersect the curve. All you have to do is just use that slider. It's gonna make it super easy for you and C6, that's gonna be our answer, super easy. Number 21 here is another super easy one that you can use Desmos to get in like two seconds. So we have this, it's another parabola, and we're told that we have this constant B, it's a positive integer, and we have to find the greatest possible value of B that there is um, no real solution, okay? So that's gonna be, um, you can think about it like, when there's no solution, it doesn't touch the x value. So what's the largest possible integer value of b that it does not touch the x value, or the x-axis, sorry. So all we gotta do is just make this in Desmos. Uh, let me uh, center my screen a little bit so you guys at home can see. Okay, negative x squared plus bx minus 676. We're gonna make a slider for b. I'm gonna zoom out. And then you can see our parabola. It's somewhere down here. And basically, what all we wanna do is we're gonna to wanna to move this guy up, but one thing I need to show you is sometimes the range for B is not entirely accurate. You wanna change it. So we're told that it's positive, so we wanna start it at zero. And let's just give ourselves a wide range. Let's make it, we can slide this between zero and 100 now. And then let's just move this up, and we wanna see exactly where this touches the X axis. So it looks like it's gonna to touch right here, okay? So that, this is where it has exactly one solution. You gotta be careful. The question asks for no solutions. So the largest B value where it's gonna have no solutions, you can just go down one. It's gonna be 51, okay? So do you get what I did there? Basically at 52, that's exactly where it has one solution. So that's kind of the turning point. So then if we just go down one since it's an integer, then it's gonna have no solutions. So this is a type of question I recommend busting out decimals for rather than solving it yourself. I, I think this is super easy. And I, I also should say, I don't recommend using Desmos for all constant questions because sometimes it can be very, uh, like Desmos can't do them all, at least not easily. But ones where you can just bust out a slider like this, for sure use Desmos 100% of the time. Number 21 here is the last one I wanna go over. It's another one you can easily get using the slider. So we have this, uh, it's another quadratic, and we want to find where it passes the point 24 comma zero, and we have this t value, it's a constant, and then the value we're looking for is g of zero. So let's do, let's do it. So just like before, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to type in the um, parabola or the equation as it comes. So it's gonna be this, and then you're gonna hit add slider. So there you go. Now we have that slider. We were told that we have to go where it finds or where it crosses um, 24 comma zero. So we're gonna we're just gonna drag this slider until, and just like before, we need to change the range a little bit. 
I like to make it 100, just give you a lot of sliding room. We want to go till it hits 24, so it looks like that'll be here. Yeah, so as you see here, it hits 24. So then now we, we know that that's where it happens. And then we, there, we're we asked to find G of zero. So we're gonna look, that's gonna be where it touches the Y axis. So we're just gonna go up and then see what the Y value is there on the Y intercept. So our answer is just gonna be 336. So you see how you can use the slider to build the graph out and then just look at the point that you need. Thank you for watching MVP learners. Make sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe.